and there comes a time spiritually when we need to get before the Lord. And I'm challenging you, we need to get before the Lord and ask God to open our eyes like Moses so that we can see the fulfillment of his promise, see the fulfillment of prophecy. We've got to live in this vision. I live in this vision. I work by this vision. We need to pray that like Moses, God will allow us to go into the mountain and see. Which reminds me, there was one other time I had a phenomenal dream. And that was also when I'd been on my prayer mountain in Switzerland. And I saw something of the future. But that for another time. Let's pray that God will help us to take our eyes off the immediate circumstances. Just as when I was in the prison, the whole of my time in the prison, after those first four months when I had that dream, changed. And from there on, the whole of the focus of my attention was that I would get out by a miracle. And I want to challenge you, whatever circumstance you're in, whatever it is, get before God until God will open your eyes and that you begin, begin to live now in the faith of the miracle that's coming. That's how I live. I don't live just under the constraints of today. Whatever the constraints are, whatever the lockdown, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking beyond to see what God is going to do. Let me just pray. Father, I do thank you for the sense of this revelation that you're giving to me at this time. And I pray that you will develop this vision, develop this prophetic story. And Father, I pray that all those who are listening and watching will understand that just as 20 years ago, you showed me through that rape of Europe, you showed me the prophetic fulfillment in Brexit. And now you're showing me the prophetic fulfillment of what's going to happen beyond. And I'm not looking at the sickness and the death, nor the, the economic crisis. I'm looking beyond. And I'm seeing the light of the kingdom and the glory of the kingdom. Oh God, open all our eyes and give us a glimpse of the glory of the heavenly Jerusalem. In Jesus' name, amen.